Adam. Well, thank you. And hello and happy new year to each and every one of you. And merry, merry Christmas and another happy new year. Welcome to LivingStrongTV.com, fastest 30 minutes in broadcast where I am your host, Prophet Johnson. There is truly a God that sits high and looks low. Arby, I cannot believe that you beat everybody else in the new year. Brother, I thank God for the seed that you sown, that grace seed. And I thank Ursula for following you up and bringing up the rear. Ursula, you shall know the truth and you now know the truth. Arby, y'all know the truth. Everybody know the truth. Brunel, all down the line, can't nobody say nothing. Whom the Son have set free is free indeed. And what God spoke to me for every living strong viewer, Arby, starting with you, Ursula, all of y'all, Brunel, on down the line, he spoke to me and said, Prophet, I want you to speak a permanent blessing on their lives. I said permanent. He said permanent. He said tell them hallelujah as long uh, burns too as long as y'all live. I, I, I'm not calling y'all names out. I'm not getting a star all y'all. Sandra all y'all. I'm not getting y'all mixed up. Lucy all y'all. Okay. Jackson up there all y'all. All right, here's the deal. The Lord spoke a word to me, Captain. You know what he said? He said to me, tell them that as long as they live, especially with eyes upon the face of this earth, David said, I've been old and I've been young, but I've not yet seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. The Lord said, give you a forever blessing. You will not have to ask or beg nobody for nothing as long as y'all are on the face of this earth. The permanent blessing is that God have got y'all locked in from now till the time you expire. You won't have to worry about asking nobody for nothing. The Lord has well taken care of you and will well continue to do so. Let's get started, Captain. What are we talking about? The healing womb. The healing womb. Why? Vote. Victor over the enemy. That's how you're going to get the victory. There is a bomb yet in Gilead. There's a blood that yet flows. You see. In the midst of it all, what is the womb? The womb is the birth. It is the incubator of man, of woman. The womb is what's carried the child through nine months of labor only to be spit out into a world of discontentment. Let's look in the book of Genesis of chapter number 49, Genesis 49, and in verse number wherever I am, I'll find it in a minute, y'all know where I am, Genesis 49, in verse number 25, get straight to the point. Listen to this. Even by God, say by God, because that's where your healing is going to take place. Even by God of thy fathers, who shall help thee. Who's going to help you when you've been hurt? Who's going to help you when you've been broken? Who's going to help you when you've made a mistake? You see, the healing is the bomb in Gilead. The womb is not only the incubator, but the wound itself from the incubator. W-O-U-N-D, wound, thank you, Captain. So when you have been wounded in life by the womb of life, you must understand this one thing. God has a way 
of healing every wound. Now, some strange stuff have been taking place here. And I want to see what this strange stuff is all about. You see, because every once in a while, you just got to get to the point to where you understand what God is doing. So in the midst of it all, the Lord has a way of bringing you back from brokenness in life. And that's all there is to it. So the thing that I want to tell you is this, is that whenever brokenness occur, there's always a time in a process which takes place in your life in which God allows the healing process to take place. You've got to know that wounds from the womb healed over time. In verse, where am I at? 25, even by God of thy fathers who shall help thee and by the almighty who shall bless thee. Did you hear that word? Bless thee, even by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings. Oh, my God. Not only is he going to bless you in the year to come, but with blessings. Did you hear that? Which means the S is going to follow the bless in your life. So when you say, I am blessed, say, I am blessed with the blessings of God. There is a turnaround in your life. There's an excitement in my spirit because the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So what God will do is expose your enemies to the truth of who they are in order for you to be free. Did you hear that? You are blessed with the blessings of God. This is something that I can't get over. Who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above? Did you hear that? 2021, the healing womb, blessing of the deep. Oh, God, I'm going to get in trouble, but I'm not. He called those things that be not as though they were. Blessing of the deep. You've got to understand that this blessing of the deep is not from some water, not from some well. Or all of what the, it's the deep from within you, the deep within your heart, the deep within your mind, the deep call it unto the deep at the noise of thy water spout. For all of the billows, the waves of life have gone over me. I have not yet seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. So you are blessed from the truth within you. And when that truth comes out, it's not only going to set you free, but it's going to let the world know who your enemy is and who your friends really are. When you face the truth within, within you in this new year and you set it up, hallelujah, like never before, that's when that truth is going to set you free. Did you hear me? All right. Listen to this. And, 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 and who shall bless thee with blessing of heaven above, blessings of the deep. Watch this. That lieth under 
Did you hear that word? Lie it under. There's something under the covers in you. Lie it under your soul, your heart, your mind, your emotions, your feelings, your decisions, your love. There's a blessing that lie it under. Blessings of the breast. Children that you have birth or will birth of the breast and of the womb. Did you hear that? Of what you've been carrying all this time. Shut! The Lord said, get ready to praise him right now because you about to birth what you've been carrying. Hallelujah. And that birth canal right now is ready to receive the promises of God. Listen to verse number 26 in the book of Genesis, chapter number 49. The blessing of thy father have prevailed above the blessing of my progenitors. Everything that God said for you have been blessed above everything that even which have preceded you. See, the only reason they were blessed is because you were blessed. The healing womb in America is calling for the nation to do what? Vote. Victory over the enemy. In order to get that victory over the enemy, the nation itself, herself, America, cries out, as well as the world system, for a truth that's locked down inside of black folks and white folks. How will you get the victory over your enemy in Georgia? Will you vote for the truth, or will you vote for your color or hatred or racism will you vote for the incentives of man or against the disincentation and I didn't say that right of man or the dissidence of man the downfall of him you see why is it that God have allowed the hearts of men in America to be tried in one state. Get up in the suburbs. White folks, don't destroy your future like you did in Kentucky, in Texas, in Tennessee, in South Carolina. Don't vote! For the enemy because you hate the color of another man. Vote! Because there's something inside of you that is based upon a truth and a law that will free all of mankind into the truth of the dummy dims and the roguish can. Let the racky races, races begin. Let's see what the dummy dims are going to do. We'd like to work with you, roguish cans. We're going to make 44 one-time president. We never will work with you. We're not going to validate 46. We're going to vote against him on January the 6th. And if Loeffler and Purdue get in, we going to tear your playhouse down because the idiocracy of the sin sick of, of that which is locked up inside of man, the idiocracy of the, uh, the, the word that I'm looking for of the, is the synchronicity. Everything is out of sync in life. It's locked up inside of man and they will serve their purpose 
for the suburbs, for their houses, for their wealth, for their bank account, for their protection, for their name, for their oil companies, for the greed of who they are, for the lust and lasciviousness of life, only to break down one human being from another and he will sacrifice his life because the person in the cage is not the same color that he is. This is why Jonathan and David, John Osloff and Raphael Warnock is for the forefront to the battle and Georgia, you got to rise up from the north, the south, the east, the west into the suburbs of Atlanta with Kamala Harris in Savannah and those that are in the counties of, of Hinesville and of Wayne and all of those of Scriven, those that view living strong from the north to the south to the east to the west, Augusta, the radio broadcast, each and every one of you has got to vote like your life depended on it and we've got to give them dummy dims a chance to prove to themselves that they are for righteousness, that they they are for equality and that they are for human rights of mankind all over the land. George Floyd to, to, to uh, Michael Brown to Tamir Rice to Breonna Taylor to Sandra Bland all the way back to the ancients of the ancients from Baltimore to Chicago if you do not vote the womb and the healing womb in America will be defeated by time in the essence of the money mouth lizard lift slot machine that runs the, 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 the roguish cans McConnell and all the way station in America and all the Chinese connection with the UFOs of life will not be able to break the hypocrisy and the downfall that this nation is getting ready to experience. If there was ever time, say, to get fire in your soul, to get fire in your heart, and to say, God, I'm voting for truth. I'm voting for reality. I'm not voting because I'm white for a white man, and I'm not voting because I'm black for a black man. I'm not voting for the Democrats because I'm a Democrat, and I'm not voting for the Republicans because I'm a Republican. I'm voting for the future of the healing of the world of America because America shit your womb is stripped you must be healed you married the dog when the dog wasn't committed to you you sold yourself into the syndrome of nothing but lust lasciviousness and greed Africa, do you see what we are having to deal with as a lost tribe here? Israel, are you satisfied with whom you have in your nations? Hollywood, are you complete with your black ology of stripping only the true God? to serve the totem poles of America. Sports events! Are you satisfied that COVID-19 haven't stopped you from gaining the green field? Black America, your test is on. Are you going to sit home Pray God put a fire in your soul. Every eligible voter in Georgia from the age of 18 upward shall be hitting the polls in droves. And if you're veering this broadcast and you got lazy idleness on you, then I got news for you. You will sit back and watch the, the Titanic sink in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean only to regret it later because you was too lazy to vote. 
Georgia vote like never before. Do it like never before. Get those hypocrites out of that White House. Okay? Because they're going to try to kill this administration. Democracy, talking about a nation of laws, that's a lie straight from the pit of hell itself. This has never been a nation of laws except only to serve the white man of his truth and of his power. Never been a nation of laws because there is no law against police officers that can hunt and kill with impunity any human being they will. America cannot tell no other nation about human rights. So forget about China. Forget about North Korea. Mr. Kim Jong-un, go ahead on. You know what the old say, old song say? You know how it goes? You drop the bomb on me, baby. You drop the bomb on me. <laughs> Make your bomb, man. Why? It doesn't matter, India. It doesn't matter, Pakistan. American citizens do not pay attention to the spiritual dimensions of God. American human beings only focus on what's in front of them. They do not see the spiritual dimensions of reality. They do not see God in his complete form, a wheel of what he's doing. So y'all are free of the nations of the world. American citizens, I have great news for you. Remember, Jesus Christ will not come back, nor be bothered with your sins, nor your decisions, nor your life, nor your marriages, nor your children. You have not to worry about God except for one reason in which the nations cannot do. I've told you this a million times. Don't worry about Jesus Christ and the end of the world in the church because your answer is only in one event, and that's called a nuclear bomb. A nuclear bomb, if it is exploded anywhere on earth, is your only sign of the ends of the time. If there is no nuclear bomb dropped, forget about the wars with Iran, forget about wagging the dog's tail, forget about everything because it means nothing of wars and rumors of wars. Your only answer and only test is that one nation will fire a nuclear bomb upon another nation. That's when you will see your God. You understand? Otherwise, live your life, eat drink and be merry and shoot your fireworks and watch out for 2000 zero, zero, party over oops nuclear bomb we're out of time talk through it captain talk through it he goes on to say the blessing of thy fathers have prevailed above the blessing of my progenitors unto the utmost bound of everlasting hills. Did you hear that word, everlasting hills? That's how he want to bless you. They shall be the head of Joseph 
and on the crown of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. And in closing, we got a few minutes left. We're going to finish in time for the radio broadcast. Blessed are the poor. This is Matthew chapter number uh, 5 and verse number 3. Jesus talking. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for, there, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when man shall revile you and persecute, persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be you exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. In closing, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, where well, shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and it is given light to all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Bless those that persecute you mean to forgive them. Forgive everybody that persecuted you. Forgive everybody that wronged you. Forgive everybody that hurt you. Because when you bless those that persecuted you, that used you dis despitefully, and you say, God, I bless those who took advantage of me, who hurt me, who used me. Then God is able to come in and bless you with the blessings and which make it rich, rich and added no sorrow to it. I'm here to tell you right now, America, the nations of the world, this is the message of the healing womb. If we're going to be healed in America, we've got to forgive what has happened in the past and we have got to go on and press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in through Christ Jesus. So now is the time. And right now, will you repeat after me and say, Father, I'm a sinner. Heal my womb. You see, the thing that God did in your life was put other people there even though they despitefully use you, even though they hurt you, even though they broke you down, they were the part, they was a part of his plan. They were the part of his promise because without them, you would not be where you are today. Do you understand? And without those individuals to per persecute you and to despitefully use you, it was a part of God's plan and God's will to eliminate them and to make you see the truth and to make you stronger than what you are because they're going to go on. They're going to live their life. They're going to do what was in their heart. They're going to hook up. But the truth of the matter is, is that others know the truth. That's why you let God show it. Don't you fight. Let God fight your battle, and you will, give the vic you will get the victory in the end. And that's all there is to it. I may be cutting off a little bit early here. We don't want to run into the radio broadcast. The healing wound is for all of you that's in the nation today that says, I've been hurt, I've been broken, I've been deceived, I've been misused. But now, this is the blessing of the blessing that's on my life. Will you repeat after me? And will you say, Father, I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I pray that you heal every broken wound. I pray that the enemies that tried to hurt them, that they would bless their enemies. Bless the folks that used them. 
I bless all my enemies in the name of Jesus. And I thank you and I bless those that despitefully use me. That's right. That's right. Because in doing that, that's how you're going to be set free. Bless them to go on and enjoy their lives and enjoy their relationships and let them have what they hope they got. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Repeat after me and say, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Y'all be blessed coming into the new year. We'll see you on tomorrow night. The Healing Womb, Georgia, go vote. Let's get Oslo. Jonathan and David and Warnock into that Senate. We need those guys. I will be voting with you, bringing up the rear with Georgia. Let's tear down their playhouse. It's our time. Let's get rid of them whatever. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. <laughs> y'all go vote. <laughs> the healing. Woo. Have a good night. Bye. I'm wiser. I'm wiser.